Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to make a quick little review video on some products that I have been loving from my favorite new brand, Sydney Grace, which is an indie brand. I'm sure you guys have heard of them all over YouTube recently. At least a lot of the YouTubers I watch talk about them all the time. I think I first heard Angelica talk about these or talk about them in particular and then I saw somebody else mention their cream shadows and I was like, ooh, I should try that, you know? And then I saw swatches and she actually added a few more colors to her lineup and so now she has 21 shades and I picked up five of them um, because she restocked them all a few weeks ago and I have been wearing these non-stop on my eyes so I just wanted to talk to you guys really quick about them. I swatched the five shades here on my hand because I was talking about these on Instagram and I was like, you know what, before I take them off my hand, let me quick just talk to my YouTube family as well. So the one, um, the first shade here, which is this like green that shifts brown is called Starry Night. And this is what all the packaging is. It's just a little plastic tube. It kind of looks like a little lip balm. I actually really like this packaging. You can just squeeze the littlest, littlest amount. I put too much on some of these and I just need a little bit and I'm actually wearing one of the shades on my eyes as well. So this green shade is called Starry Night and it's gorgeous. The next shade is Vibrant Madness and it's this beautiful gold right here. And that's the shade I have on my lids. I love wearing this. It's so easy to blend these and the main difference I see in these versus like the Stila ones um, are their easy, easiness to blend and also I like that it's not a doe foot applicator. I feel like the Stila ones you kind of have to like apply them directly onto the eye whereas these ones I just put on a little blending brush. Let me just show you guys. It's really weird but I just use this little wet and wild brush. I don't even know. This is like a small blending brush it's really tiny but it's so perfect for just like dipping into this and then just like perfectly placing the product I really like this and it's a little synthetic brush and I've just been using it every day to apply these shadows I think you could use like a um, flat shader brush as well but I just like to use that particular shape because it's nice because then when I get into my crease I can blend as well I'm um, sorry I keep getting sidetracked so I showed you Viber Madness and then Master Plan is this shade right here it's that beautiful pink to gold shift shade um, and you guys know that is like wickedly popular I think there's a shade like this in the magic palette by Juvius as well as the Huda rose gold and desert dusk palette as well so I love that then this shade called sugar plum fairy I was wearing on my lids one day and Sydney Grace actually shared that post on her Instagram story so I will post a picture of that look up here so you guys can check it out and then the last shade is my bond which is this beautiful one right here it's so beautiful it has like a almost like a burgundy base and the shimmers have a dual chrome shift so they shift blue and brown it reminds me a lot of max blue brown pigment so a little bit of fun facts about these they are six month shelf life so I mean I haven't had these for six months so I don't know if it's going to expire on me but we'll see and they are made in the USA and they are 10 ml so I mean I don't feel like I will ever get through one of these in a lifetime just because of me having so much product but I can see girls that are on the go this is so perfect also if you're a makeup artist I think these will be beautiful I also think this would be suitable for people with mature lids I just feel like it smoothens my lids. It's so nice. It doesn't make my eyelids look dry or crepey or anything, which I love about it. It's easy to blend. So even if you're not like this makeup expert, you don't have to worry about it. And then I just wanted to read from her website as well. These do retail for $8, but um, you can use a code to try and save some money. I don't feel like $8 is too crazy of a price. I mean, in the grand scheme of things. I think even if you just get one shade to try out, I don't think it will be too bad. It said it says on her website, these shadows are made to dry down to a smudge proof finish, which I totally agree with. They don't smudge. They are not waterproof, but they will last all day on the lids, which I can totally testify to because I've had this on since 7 a.m. this morning and it is now 7.19 p.m. when I'm filming this. And then it says this color, or a lot of them say this color will have a little bit of a learning curve, but don't worry, it isn't hard. Due to the nature of the pigments used, 
for this color, it works best that after brush application, when the shadow is almost completely set, rub your finger over the shadow and watch it get a little more vibrant and smoother across the lids. Now, I haven't actually done that because I haven't felt any lack of smoothness, but she does say on here how to do that. And it says how to apply, put a dab on the back of your hand or make a palette, use a flat or lid brush or a fluffy brush or your finger and brush onto lids. Take the tip of the brush to buff it in slightly into your crease or if you want to use a halo, use a small blender brush to blend the edges out after you have applied it to the center of your lids. They do dry fairly quickly so work one eye at a time. I don't know guys, that's pretty much all the information in here. I personally just love this stuff. I don't feel like it dries too quickly. I do think once it dries down, it sets perfectly and I haven't experienced any fallout or anything that I would experience with other, you know, products like this, like Liquid Shadows, which is a huge trend right now. I do know she's coming out with more shades in July. She just announced that on her Instagram. So I'm so, so excited and I encourage you guys to check it out. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone as well, but I'm thoroughly enjoying them. And I just wanted to hop on here and make a little video and tell you guys about these products so you can try them out as well. Okay guys, that is it for my short little review on the Sydney Grace Cream Eyeshadows. I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. I'll try and remember to link her website down below so you guys can shop these shadows easily. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys. <music>